Get ready. It's time to have some fun. Coming to you from KDKA TV Studios in downtown Pittsburgh. It's Pittsburgh Today Live. Hey everybody, it is Tuesday morning and we're celebrating. We are celebrating. Today is National Blueberry Pancake Day. So, Selena Pompiani, <laughs> because she is the sweetest, nicest person ever, ordered. You had these delivered. I Blueberry had them pancakes delivered. delivered. Oh, check them out. Mm -mm -mm. They are hot, David. They okay. just arrived to KDKA. We uh, got some delicious butter and syrup on there. Mm -hmm. I, I'm filling in for Heather today, but I wish she was here to enjoy some of these pancakes. Well, that's true. She would love it. But we're going to enjoy we, it yes, for her. Yes, we are. <laughs> yeah. I'm the one that I always need more syrup. No matter how much syrup, is there more? Is there, oh, Ron is on the case. Bring it over, Ron. Because <laughs> I'm the one that I'm always asking the server, you know, is there more syrup? Or I'm going to the fridge and, like, you know, do the whole well, bottle. I, I was laughing Ron, and Ron yes, was laughing. Thank you, Ron. <laughs> they included Thanks. a lot of syrup. So, David, mm. look at that. We got four Anything else you need? No, water? No, you no, need no, more no, water? Ron, water? Get in water? Here. Anything else? You're good? You want some pancakes? Here, I'll cut you up a bite. Are you ready Ron. for the check? It's <laughs> <laughs> wrong. <laughs> How are they, David? Me with more syrup. <laughs> They're fantastic. So, yeah, we love these kind of holidays, especially when we get to eat. I love so. them. And I love blueberry pancakes. Well, it makes you feel mm -hmm. like the pancakes are maybe a little bit healthier for you because there's blueberries. Mm -hmm. in it. And we know blueberries are good for you. They're so good for you. They're so good for you. Mm. All right, so we're going to keep eating, mm -hmm. uh, but we also want to chat with you. And, and you know, James, uh, what's his name? James Corden. Gordon. Mm hmm. Carpool karaoke. Of course, everyone has seen this at this point, right? I he love drives it. around with celebrities and then they sing together. It's been a big hit on his late, late show, uh -huh. also online. If you haven't seen it, where have you been? But anyway, <laughs> here is a, a quick clip. This is James with Justin Bieber. Watch. You know you love me. So we started singing it here. We'll spare you and not sing it now on television. But yeah, it's always fun. And mm -hmm. um, and and we should say Justin Bieber. We just found out is going to perform in yes. Pittsburgh this summer. That's new information I, this I, morning. I was listening to the CW News right before we came on here, and that's what I heard. That was the first time I heard it. Yeah. So there mm -hmm. you go. All right. Well, someone tweeted a video last week that makes it appear as though James Corden is yes. not actually driving mm -hmm. in these carpool karaoke. So look at this. Oh this was supposedly during a ride with Justin Bieber. And in this video, it certainly looks like the Range Rover's being towed on little wheels there. Yep. Uh, so some I, people on Twitter, they're all up in arms about this. They think, oh, it. I'm misled. I have been, I trusted that he was actually driving. Me um, too. And someone else went, really? You feel yeah. that way? <laughs> I really thought so. But if you think about it, it's probably smart. It's probably smart. And someone Someone else mm -hmm. said they saw them when he was with One Direction, oh. and he was really driving that time. So anyway, mm. James Corden fired back on Twitter, and this is kind of funny because we want to share it with you. So it's a picture of him and Samuel L. Jackson. <laughs> James is holding a steering wheel there, and the <laughs> caption is, it's not even a real, oh, guys, we don't even use a real car. <laughs> <laughs> this was good. <laughs> but I, like you were saying, Selena, I think when you watch him sing, he is so into it. He's driving. He takes yeah. his hands off the wheel. He's dancing. He's, his eyes are closed. <laughs> like, he shouldn't be driving. No, that would be no. very dangerous. And I never thought of that before. I yeah. always just thought that they were really driving. Right. But I'm glad. I, I, I think that's very dangerous. I wondered how they taped it or I how they too. filmed it. So. Yeah, now we know mm -hmm. now that we at least know. not all the time he's actually driving. Right. We should and start that here. You think? Yeah. It okay. could be a PTL. A okay. DC. I like it. A local we'll, we'll just version. drive around and maybe I could be an yes. Uber driver and I'd like oh. pick, I don't know. <laughs> we'll oh, I out. like where this is going. <laughs> okay, we can earn some money on we the could. side to finance our blueberry pancakes. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Because, uh, yes, I would like to have these delivered every day, but okay. it would get pricey. It could get, it pricey. Could get really pricey. And we could drive Katie around, yeah. pick up people, oh. sing with them. 
Jill, are you listening? It's all coming together, <laughs> Jill. <laughs> Just I like no. <laughs> well, the, uh, that was that. a big thing on social media, but something else has been blowing mm -hmm. up, and it's something that Dolly Parton started. I love Dolly. I love Dolly. She's Parton. so cute. So she mm -hmm. started. I guess it's the Dolly Parton Challenge, the official title. <laughs> <laughs> she said, "Get you a woman that can do it all." So she, <laughs> so she has four photos she posted. You could see she's in her business attire on LinkedIn. It looks like Instagram is a little more playful and fun. Mm -hmm. Facebook, same thing with Facebook, but then there's Tinder, that dating app. <laughs> she is ready to mingle. <laughs> a little more va va boom there on Tinder. A little more va boom, yeah. Uh, well, this has taken off. It has. And so this, this sort of launched last week. So this was Katie Couric's because she had some fun with it, because especially her Tinder win. <laughs> It's I just, love it. But her LinkedIn went very professional. Yeah. Uh, so this week, the new thing is that people started doing this with their pets. Mm -hmm. So we want to show you uh, some of these <laughs> that have come in. This is Sebastian Loves Luna. That's the name of the account. And look under Tinder. I the love the Tinder one. With the bows. That is too cute. <laughs> I love the LinkedIn one too. Me too. How do you get your dog? To wear glasses like that and smile. And they look so happy. And it's got a glass of rose there. <laughs> maybe, I mean, that's <laughs> well, maybe that's why. Maybe that's why. We're not encouraging that, people. They, no. <laughs> they must have had some sort of treat or toy. And look at this cute puppy. Oh, the Tinder one. That oh, is too cute. Yes. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. So, anyway, that's the new thing. Yes. on social media this week. It all started by Dolly Parton. Yeah. And I, I agree with you. I love Dolly Parton. I, 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 she's just the cutest person ever. Everything she does, I like. She's just a good energy. Mm -hmm. And all different types of people like her. She brings people together. And I feel yeah. like that's something that we need more of. So, Me too. You know, amen to Dolly Parton. Yes, we love yeah. you, Dolly. Yeah, and you created a sensation. I know. We need to take part in that. Do we? Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> We'll talk about that after okay. the show, Selena. <laughs> All right. So this, we wanted to share this with you because we thought it was very, very sweet. It's just an act of kindness. A state trooper, his knowledge of the movie Frozen turned out to really come in handy mm -hmm. in kind of a scary situation. Is that Elsa? So a mom and her kids in Is Nebraska, it? their car oh, slid know, off the road. Elsa and listen to what he talked to the wolf. little girl about. And went off and Sven. Oh, I love Sven. I love Sven. He's a talking snowman. He is. That's Olaf, ain't it? All right. Yeah, he's talking to her about Frozen just to keep her calm until they could get them out of the car. I love this so much. So yeah. you could tell that he is definitely a dad and is, is familiar right. with and the movie Frozen. The uh, the Nebraska State Patrol posted. They said, "Quote: Dad skills came into play." <laughs> no, but I just love that because you think about those moments. They're scary for adults. Yeah. And and you know when when a stranger comes up and is going to help you and, mm -hmm. and you're a child, just that he was able to relate in that moment. It just you know. I know. That's that a, was great. Police I love officers, like first that. responders are fantastic to begin with, but whenever they they do the little added extra like that, it's mm -hmm. just sweet. And we wanted to share it. Yes. All right. One of our neighbors is rich. Somebody is rich Somebody's in Butler rich. County. Yeah, they haven't claimed the ticket yet, though. Mm, did you uh, Did you buy any tickets in Butler County? No. Okay, then it's I not you. I never do. Maybe I should start. I do, like, if the jackpot's really high. But anyway, this was a lottery ticket. This is Saturday's mm -hmm. Match 6 lottery drawing, and the winning ticket means they get... 2.39 million. Wait, Marie's checking 2. something. 2.3 Did you Marie? buy a ticket, Marie? Oh, no. okay. <laughs> she I pulled thought something out of would... her pocket, and I was like, if Marie, <laughs> Marie, if you win, we are all going somewhere, right? Yeah, okay. we're taking all a right. trip, Marie. We got a thumbs up for Marie. But they bought it. <laughs> Whoever bought this, it, it was the Kogos on Route 8 in Valencia. And you have one year to claim your prize. One year. Now, th this is the thing. So if you were the Kogos in Valencia, mm -hmm. check your ticket if you bought something for this because there's a big time winner. And I've done stories on people like th that went unclaimed. Because Gosh. people lost the ticket or never knew they had the winning ticket, and so that money oh. goes back into the lottery jackpot fund. Mm -hmm. uh, so, which of course oh, really? the lottery supports older Pennsylvanians. Yeah. But wow, can you imagine missing out on I it? I can't. No, I I can't. I know that I would if I did play the lottery, which I should. I would keep my ticket and keep it with me until I looked and saw the winning right. numbers. But you do. You don't realize that you could misplace it easily or. 
Yeah. It happens. You never know. It Put happens. it in Marie's pocket. That's where she's keeping everything. Yeah. Marie's like, yes, yeah. you can do that. <laughs> All right, well, something else we wanted to tell you about. Really an unusual contest. Mm -hmm. um, you know, it, it is a naming contest. Yeah, And I it's like for this. fireworks. Mm -hmm. So this is something mm -hmm. Phantom Fireworks is doing, and they want you to come up with names for the firework that we're about to show you. So take a look at this. Well said, Selena. I, I, I don't <laughs> Does know. it speak I, to you? Does it look like anything? I would like name anything? it David. <laughs> David the Highfield. David the Highfield. <laughs> How about Crackle and Selena? Oh, yeah. I like that. Selena celebrates. <laughs> Poppin' PTL. Anyway, Poppin PTL. if Phantom likes any of these names and we actually enter, here's, here's what you can win. Uh, you can win a one minute shopping spree at the Phantom Fireworks store. So they, okay. they give you a cart. And then you have one minute to fill so it with. You gotta be many, fast. Yes, you need your running shoes that day. Oh wow! But that's kind of fun. And anyway, uh, we have a wait link. a minute. What? What? Do you, yes, I like you, this. I'm, I'm looking at this now. Producer Jill. Jill was thinking of names already. Dynamite David. <laughs> that's it. We're gonna submit it. I, don't, I like popping PTL. Yeah, I like that too. That's a whole team thing. Yeah. <laughs> You're right. So anyway, like let too. us know if you win this because we want to do a story on it. <laughs> that uh, would be cool. We also need a dose of cuteness this morning. As always. As always. So the <laughs> Pittsburgh Zoo and PPG Aquarium are uh, providing it. They have not named fireworks. They have named leopards, clouded leopard cubs. And so this is video of them when they're very, very young there. Mm -hmm. uh, but the babies have been dubbed Gail and Lynn, and they're named after a longtime docent there at the zoo, Gail Noden. Uh, her daughter chose the name. So, and the, oh, this is an updated picture of them. Look how they cute. are so cute. So they're eight weeks old now. They're very healthy. They're growing. They love to play and wrestle. I love I this photo, but even that first video when they were so young, how Well, the cute. thing about it is they look like, oh, I want one in my home, mm -hmm. but then they'll grow up to be much bigger. Oh. You don't want that You don't want that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's why they're at the zoo. <laughs> but anyway, we wanted to share. They have names now. Yes, so we're happy how for cute. Them. All right, oh. well, we always love to talk about food, and after our pancakes, we're going to keep the theme going, especially oh, yes. with Chef more. Crystal. You're going to eat more oh, pancakes. Yeah. <laughs> Chef Crystal Baldwin is with us today. She is cooking up game day snacks and drinks for Super Bowl Sunday, which, of course, is this weekend. We are happy to sample those, Crystal. We are excited about it, <laughs> including a beer sangria. That's coming up in today's Cooking Corner, oh, so stay with us. I love beer and sangria. That sounds good. We'll also take you live to the National Aviary for the reopening of the Rainbow Lorikeet Habitat. Find out how the colorful little birds are helping in a big way to save wildlife that is threatened by the Australian wildfires. Mikey made a friend there. She did. Plus, biking on water. I know, it sounds unbelievable, but it is true. It's just one of the cool new products Dr. Frank brought back from the Consumer Electronics Show in Vegas. He will share all of them with us today. We'll check out that and a whole lot more when PTL comes right back on this Tuesday, January 28th. Thanks for being with us.